Hey there, food fans. Today, we're not just whipping up a tasty meal, we're talking survival chow. That's right, we're diving deep into the pantry of preparedness with the top 10 long-term foods for SHTF scenarios. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this about those astronaut ice cream squares again? Nope. We're talking about real food, the kind that sticks to your ribs and keeps you going when the going gets tough. We'll break down why these foods are the ultimate survival sidekicks, how to store them so they stay fresher than a daisy in springtime, and just how long you can expect them to last. So buckle up, buttercups, and get ready for a wild ride through the delicious world of long-term food storage. First up, we're talking rice. This little grain is a powerhouse of culinary potential. Think of it as the blank canvas of the food world, ready to soak up any flavor you throw at it. But versatility isn't its only superpower. Rice is a nutritional all-star, packed with carbohydrates for energy and fiber to keep your digestive system humming along. Plus, it stores like a dream. We're talking decades, folks. But there's an art to proper storage. Think airtight containers, the kind that would make a Tupperware salesman drool. We want to keep those little grains safe from moisture, pests, and the ravages of time. Next up, we're talking beans. No, not the musical fruit, although a good bowl of chili can be music to your stomach. We're talking about dried beans, those little nutritional powerhouses just waiting to be unleashed. Beans are like nature's multivitamin, packed with protein, fiber, and a whole slew of essential vitamins and minerals. We're talking iron for your blood, potassium for your muscles, and even folate for your brain. But here's the thing about beans, they're notoriously finicky about storage. Leave them exposed to air and they'll turn on you faster than you can say baked beans. That's why we're bringing in the big guns mylar bags and oxygen absorbers. All right, folks, let's talk about pasta. No, not the stuff swimming in Alfredo sauce. We're talking survival sustenance here. Pasta is a powerhouse of carbohydrates, the fuel your body craves when times get tough. And the beauty of it? It's a blank canvas for flavor. A little salt, a dash of pepper, maybe some foraged mushrooms if you're feeling adventurous. Boom, you've got yourself a meal. But how do you keep this culinary chameleon happy for the long haul? Vacuum sealing is your best bet. Suck out that oxygen, lock in the freshness, and you're looking at a shelf life of 8 to 10 years. That's right, folks, a decade's worth of deliciousness, just waiting to be unleashed. Before we dive into more essential survival foods, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on the tips and tricks that could make all the difference when it comes to preparedness. Hit that bell icon to stay updated with our latest content and join our community of savvy survivors. Together, we can turn any challenge into an adventure. Now let's get back to those protein powerhouses. Let's talk protein, folks, the building blocks of survival. And when it comes to long-term storage, canned meats are your best friend. Tuna, salmon, chicken, even spam these little cans pack a serious protein punch. Now, canned food? Isn't that a bit, well, boring? Hold your horses, because canned meats are incredibly versatile. Add them to soups, stews, salads. They're a blank canvas for your culinary creativity. The key is to store them right. A cool, dark place is ideal. Think of it like a wine cellar, but for your protein reserves. We're going way back for this one, folks, back to the basics. Honey, that golden nectar of the gods is not just delicious, it's practically eternal. You see, honey possesses this incredible property. It's a natural humectant, meaning it draws moisture out of its surroundings. And that, my friends, is the secret to its longevity. Bacteria, mold, they need moisture to thrive. But honey says, nope, not in my house. It creates an environment so inhospitable, these microscopic marauders don't stand a chance. That's why honey can last for centuries, literally. Archaeologists have found edible honey in ancient Egyptian tombs. Now that's what I call shelf life. Alright folks, let's talk about powdered milk. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. Powdered milk? That stuff's just for emergencies. But hold your horses. We're talking long-term food storage here. And in a pinch, powdered milk is a versatile ingredient. Think about it. Baking, creamy sauces, thickening agent, you name it. Plus, it's packed with calcium and vitamin D, which are essential nutrients, especially in a long-term situation. Now, let's talk storage. You want to keep this white gold dry and cool. My recommendation? Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. Those oxygen absorbers are key, folks. They'll suck out any moisture and oxygen that could spoil your stash. Seal it up tight, label it with the date, and store it in a cool, dark place. Trust me, with proper storage, powdered milk can last you a good 20 years. That's a whole lot of lattes waiting to happen. Next up, we're talking oats. And no, I'm not talking about those sugary, pre-flavored packets. We're talking about good old-fashioned rolled oats, steel-cut oats. The real deal. Why? Because oats are a nutritional powerhouse, folks. They're packed with fiber, which is essential for a healthy gut. They're also a good source of protein, iron, and several essential vitamins and minerals. And let's not forget about beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber found in oats that's been linked to lower cholesterol levels. Now, when it comes to storing oats long-term, airtight is the name of the game. You can use plastic containers, glass jars, or even those handy-dandy mylar bags. Just make sure they're sealed up tight to keep out moisture, pests, and any unwanted critters looking for a free meal. Store them in a cool, dark place and your oats will stay fresh and flavorful for decades. Let's talk salt, folks. Not just any salt, mind you. We're talking about the pure, unadulterated sodium chloride that's been a staple in kitchens for centuries. Forget those fancy flavored salts. We're talking about the workhorse of the pantry, the one ingredient that can make or break a dish. Salt is a flavor enhancer, a preservative, and a vital nutrient. It helps balance electrolytes, regulate fluid levels, and even transmit nerve impulses. Now, you might be surprised to learn that salt essentially has an indefinite shelf life. That's right, folks, it doesn't go bad. However, it can absorb moisture from the air, which can cause it to clump. That's why it's important to store your salt properly. A cool, dry place is ideal. Think pantry, cupboard, or even a dedicated salt cellar. All right, folks, we're nearing the end of our pantry prep pilgrimage, and we've covered some serious ground. From grains to canned goods, we've stocked up on essentials that will keep us going when times get tough. But there's one crucial element we haven't touched on yet, and it's something that can make a world of difference in our survival strategy. But no survival stash is complete without a little sweetness. And I'm not talking about a pat on the back. I'm talking about something that can lift our spirits and provide us with the energy we need to keep pushing forward. We're talking about the real deal, the granular gold, the one and only. Sugar. This humble ingredient is often overlooked, but it holds incredible power in our quest for survival. Now I know what you're thinking. Sugar? Isn't that just empty calories? Well, let's dive a little deeper into why sugar is more than just a sweet treat. In a post-apocalyptic world, calories are energy, my friend, and energy is survival. When you're out there, hiking through rough terrain or setting up camp, every bit of energy counts. Sugar can provide that quick boost you need to keep going. Plus, sugar does a whole lot more than just satisfy your sweet tooth. It's a versatile ingredient that can enhance the flavor of your meals and make even the most basic dishes more enjoyable. It's a natural preservative, extending the life of your jams, jellies, and even some pickled goods. This means you can enjoy the fruits of your labor for longer periods, reducing waste and ensuring you have tasty treats on hand. It can also be used to jumpstart yeast for baking bread, a skill that'll make you a post-apocalyptic hero, believe me. Freshly baked bread can be a game changer, providing comfort and sustenance in challenging times. So, how do we keep this sweet salvation in tip-top shape for the long haul? Proper storage is key to ensuring your sugar remains usable and effective. Simple airtight containers, my friend. These containers will protect your sugar from moisture and pests, keeping it fresh and ready for use whenever you need it. 
glass or heavy-duty plastic will do the trick. Both materials are durable and can create a tight seal, preventing any unwanted elements from getting in. Just keep it dry, cool, and out of direct sunlight, and your sugar will be there for you when you need it most. By following these simple steps, you can ensure that your sugar remains a valuable asset in your survival arsenal, ready to provide energy, preserve food, and add a touch of sweetness to your life when you need it most. We've talked about the long game, the staples that'll keep your belly full and your spirits up. These are the essentials, the grains, the beans, the canned goods that form the backbone of any solid food storage plan. But what about a little variety, a touch of the familiar to remind you of what life was like before the great whatever happened? Sometimes it's the little things that make a big difference, like the taste of a sweet strawberry or the crunch of a carrot. That's where freeze-dried fruits and vegetables come in. These aren't just emergency rations, they're a way to bring a bit of normalcy and joy to your meals. Now, freeze-drying may sound like something out of a science fiction flick, but it's actually a pretty ingenious process. It's a method that has been perfected over the years to ensure that the food retains its original flavor, texture, and nutritional value. Essentially, we're removing the moisture from fresh produce, leaving behind all the flavor and nutrients in a compact, shelf-stable package. This process involves freezing the food and then reducing the surrounding pressure to allow the frozen water in the food to sublimate directly from the solid phase to the gas phase. Think of it like this. We're shrinking those juicy strawberries and crisp carrots down to their essence, locking in the goodness for a later date. It's like capturing a moment in time, preserving the peak ripeness and flavor of the produce. And trust me, when fresh produce is a distant memory, you'll be thanking your lucky stars you've got a stash of these flavor bombs on hand. They can be eaten as is, added to recipes, or rehydrated to bring them back to their original state. But there's a catch, my friends. As wonderful as freeze-dried foods are, they have their vulnerabilities. Freeze-dried goodies are notorious for attracting unwanted guests, namely moisture and oxygen, the dynamic duo of food spoilage. These elements can sneak in and wreak havoc on your carefully stored supplies. So how do we keep these precious morsels safe from harm? The key is in proper storage techniques. Mylar is your new best friend. Mylar bags combined with oxygen absorbers create an environment that is hostile to moisture and oxygen, ensuring that your freeze-dried foods remain fresh and ready to eat for years to come. These bags are durable, light-resistant, and provide an excellent barrier against the elements. Well, folks, we've reached the end of our culinary journey, and I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty darn prepared. It's been quite the adventure, hasn't it? From the basics to the more luxurious items, we've covered a lot of ground. We've explored the pantry staples, those essential items that form the backbone of any good food storage plan. These are the things that will keep us going when times get tough. The sweet and savory essentials, those little treats that can make a big difference in our morale. It's amazing how a simple snack can lift our spirits. And even those little luxuries that'll remind us that life, even in a crisis, can still be delicious. These items might not be necessary for survival, but they sure do make life a bit more enjoyable. Remember, prepping isn't about panicking. It's about taking control, about being proactive rather than reactive. It's about ensuring that no matter what curveballs life throws our way, we're ready to knock it out of the park. So stock those shelves, hone those cooking skills, and make sure you're prepared for anything. It's not just about having food, it's about knowing how to use it effectively. And most importantly, don't forget to enjoy the process. Prepping can be a fun and rewarding experience if you approach it with the right mindset. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips on prepping and survival. We have a lot more content coming your way, and you won't want to miss it. And be sure to let us know in the comments which versatile food you think is the most important to store. Your feedback helps us create better content and build a stronger community. Until next time, stay prepared, stay resourceful, and keep building those skills. The more you know, the better off you'll be. And most importantly, stay hungry for knowledge. There's always something new to learn, and we're here to help you every step of the way.